TypeScript, it's a superset of JavaScript. Some people often refer to it by JavaScript on steroids. And that is because any valid JavaScript code is also a valid TypeScript code. It's open sourced and maintained by Microsoft and it's definitely one very good language to have in your knowledge stack. It's a language that with the help of the TypeScript compiler, it transpiles down to any version of JavaScript and there are a lot of advantages why you should use TypeScript as opposed to JavaScript. One of them is that you can use the newest JavaScript features and be sure that those can be transpiled transpiled down to the targeted JavaScript version. Another advantage is the static typing, which makes it ideal for large-scale applications. And it also gives us great tooling support as types are available at compile time. With TypeScript, thanks to the compiler, we can catch errors or bugs during development as opposed to JavaScript where we encounter them at runtime. And sometimes things like that can lead to frustrations. Before we dive in, I just want to say that this video is part of a series and if you don't want to miss the rest of them, please make sure to like and subscribe. To set up TypeScript, you need to have Node.js and npm installed, then you can run npm install g TypeScript. This will install TypeScript globally on your machine, meaning you can use the TypeScript compiler commands anywhere from your terminal. To check the TypeScript version, you can run the tsc-v command and this will give you the version of TypeScript. As you see at the time of the making of this video, I was using version 4.0.3. Now let's dive straight into the project and see how we can use TypeScript. To better understand the power of TypeScript, we are first going to start with a basic JavaScript code. Let's create a function that will return an origin of an apple. So we might have apples that came from Poland, apples that came from Germany or somewhere else in the planet. And we want to grab the origin from an array of apples and console log that. So we're going to create a function get origin and this will expect one parameter of apples and we can use the for of loop here to loop through the array and log the origin. Now let's call this function but instead of an array we will pass a boolean value of false. As you can see so far we have not encountered any errors. Now let's try and run this and see what happens. We can run this in two ways. One of them is with node calling node app.js or we can create an HTML file and point to this script so we can execute it on the browser. For this example let's create an index.html and call this script. Now I will run this with live server. Live server it is a small add-on for VS Code. Uh, you don't really have to use live server you can just open index.html in your browser and it will just work like that. And as you can see, we have an error here and it says that apples is not iterable. Okay, so let's now add TypeScript to the code and see how TypeScript will behave in a scenario like this. First, let's add the tsconfig file. This is a file where you can configure your uh, TypeScript compiler behavior and to add it, we can use tsc dash dash init. Now we can just rename app.js to app.ts and since any valid JavaScript code is also a valid TypeScript code, this should work. But as you can see, immediately we have an error here telling us that the parameter apples implicitly has an any type. And with TypeScript, you really just want to avoid using the any type as much as you can. To improve this, we can use the TypeScript magic. And for the parameter apples, we can create an interface or a type. In this example, we will use an interface. And to do that, we're going to say interface of apple. And this will have a property of origin that's going to be of type string. Now, let's just add this type to our parameter of apples and say that this is an array of apples. And as you can see now, when we call get origins, it has an error telling us that argument of type boolean is not assignable to parameter of type apple array. Now this is good since we are able to catch things like this during development time and as you saw we didn't really have to run this code to encounter those errors. So we are encountering them and fixing them during development time. Now let's create a proper apples array and pass that. Next we need to tell the compiler to transpile this code to JavaScript and to do that we will run the command tsc dash W. And with the dash W flag, we will watch for changes in real time and those changes will be retranspiled down uh, into the JavaScript file. So now if we go to the browser, we get Germany and Spain logged out to the console. But let's take a look at the app.js file. As you can see here, first we are missing the interface and that is because JavaScript doesn't support interfaces. They're only available in TypeScript during development. And secondly, the for off loop looks different. And that is because the targeted version is ES5. Now to change that, let's head over to the tsconfiguration.json and change the target to ES2000 
2015 and we don't really need to rerun anything anymore because the compiler is watching for life changes and it will automatically transpile down to the correct version of JavaScript. So if we go back to the app.js now you can see that we now have the for of loop and of course in the browser it still runs the same. That is all for this one guys, post your comments, questions and suggestions down below. If you found this video interesting please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.